Hi, hello, it's Hayley. I'm coming to you 15 days post-op for my two week update. Um, I didn't post this yesterday because I wanted to wait until I had like a full day um, on puree and actually it's like 8 p.m. now, which is why it's so dim and dark in here, I'm so sorry. And so I've had two de full days of puree and I wanted to be able to talk about puree um, before I made my update. Um, actually, I started puree 12 hours early, which like I need to own up to because I feel like it was probably the wrong thing to do and I started on the least pureed thing I'm allowed which is scrambled egg <clears throat> on the Monday night I couldn't face fluid anymore I just couldn't do it I couldn't face a shake I couldn't face soup I've had soup since actually on puree but the soup is very nice but I just couldn't face it I just really wanted to eat something and it was you know the Monday night before I was to start on the Tuesday so I had a scrambled egg. Um, I couldn't eat the whole egg. I only ate half a scrambled egg with a tiny bit of melted cheese and some tomato sauce. It was exactly what I felt like. And I'm not even a big egg eater. So for me to actually feel like a scrambled egg was really saying something. Um, but yeah, it went down fine. I felt fine. I was going to have the egg for breakfast actually the next morning. Um, but I was going to the airport because my dad had a very long layover that um, I went and spent some time with him. Um, and I thought I better not eat egg and especially the thickest thing like from fluids to egg I am allowed scrambled egg, but I thought it's, it's a bit of a risk in the morning And I best have something a bit safer in the morning before I get on the train to go to the airport So I had the egg Monday night. It sat perfectly fine. It was great. I got full very quickly, but um, Yeah, it felt it felt really good to eat something and then in the morning. I had a, a wheat bix I don't know, the singular form of wheat bix always gets me because I feel like wheat bix is a, pure, a plural but it ends in an X. Is it a wheat bix? Did I have a wheat bix or a wheat bix? One wheat bix or one wheat bix? Anyway, I digress. Um, I don't know if you guys, my overseas viewers, I know my Australian viewers will know what I'm, exactly what I'm talking about, but a wheat bix something that you eat in like the UK and the US and Canada and places like that? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. For my Australian viewers, I had wheat bix. Um, <laughs> so I had like a half of a wheat bix. Um, I got milk and I basically soaked it until it was really sloppy and gross, actually. And I could only eat half of it um, that first morning. Now I can eat a little more than that, even over these, you know, full two days. I think my stomach capacity has gotten a little better. Especially, I think it depends on the, on the texture. So the egg... Um, and even the wheat bakes are quite thick and so they I think I can stomach less But I had some yogurt for dinner with some protein powder mixed through it Which was a much smoother consistency and I've also been having like uh, mashed black beans With salsa and that was much looser than the egg for example uh, Even though it was like a sloppy scrambled egg, which sounds really gross, but it was cooked enough um, I think the the thinner the, the puree the easier it is for me to take and the soup definitely I can have like half a cup so yeah that's how I'm going with my my stomach capacity the puree is sitting perfectly fine I haven't had any problems um, the only problem I am having on puree is that I'm struggling to get hydrated between meals um, today I only ate twice yesterday I ate three times throughout the day four times including like a tiny little snack um, but I'm finding it because there's like a lockout period. My dietitian doesn't want me to drink within 20 minutes of eating. And actually for me, I have to wait like 40 minutes or 45 minutes before I'm comfortable to eat again. So I'm really struggling to get enough fluid in those those gaps. And I'm finding myself like I'm, I'm kicking myself because I might wake up and spend like an hour not drinking. I really need to get onto the fluids first thing because like I, I think I am becoming a little dehydrated or at least much less hydrated than I was. I was getting more than two liters of water last week. So that's probably been my biggest struggle there with food. And so the mind games have started well and truly. Um, excuse my language, but this is all just a big mind fuck basically. And it's the scale. Um, I know I said in my last weekly update that, or my first weekly update, that I wasn't going to weigh daily and I haven't been weighing daily. Um, I weighed in on Tuesday, Wednesday was fine, Thursday was fine, Friday I stood in front of the scale and then I was like, no Haley, don't get on, you don't need to know yet. Saturday I got on the scale, Neat, short, long story short. Uh, and it wasn't pretty, I'd only lost 500 grams from the Tuesday. 
um, and it upset me because I had lost six kilos the week before and I wasn't expecting a loss like six kilos but I think I was expecting maybe a little more than 500 grams for you know half a week or whatever which is stupid um, and I acknowledge that that's stupid anyway so I ended up losing um, 1.2 kilos for the week um, and I'm happy with that because I'm telling myself that I'm happy with that instinctively I was not happy with that but I need to get over that and get over myself and accept that some weeks the weight loss will be more. Hopefully some weeks I can lose more than 1.2, but some weeks I may only lose nothing or gain or whatever. You know, my period's coming. That's probably got something to do with it. Um, it I don't know. It's just, it's a mind fuck basically. And I knew it would be. And this is why I stress that I do not want this to be about the numbers. And I'm only really talking about this because it, it, did affect me and it affected me more than it probably should have i mean it didn't like throw me off i didn't cry I certainly didn't eat anything i shouldn't have but i just i just really I, yeah i don't even know what to say i'm a little speechless about it but i'm not really surprised because this is a cycle that i've really been through before really very much been through before um and yeah it's it's frustrating it's just it's frustrating to to do this to myself by weighing myself when I know it's just unnecessary. I'm happy to weigh every Tuesday, but any sooner than that, like I just I need to get through the week basically. Anyway, so I feel I feel okay. I feel fine. Um, my pain is is nothing. Sitting here now, no pain whatsoever. Zero out of ten. But I am still getting muscle spasms in my side where the leftmost incision is. Um, I, I get really sharp spasms and taking a train and a bus yesterday there was, when I came home there was something wrong with the bus the bus driver said there was no suspension in the back and god was he right um I got really bad muscle spasms in my side and they've died down a bit today I feel I feel okay but um and the doctor he did say six weeks for these muscle spasms to go away potentially so you know I've kind of got to get used to it but sitting here with no spasm no pain whatsoever which is great even when i eat i feel quite full but i you know i have no it doesn't increase my pain or anything like that um i feel perfectly fine surprisingly because i'm only eating like 400 to 450 calories which is a whole nother thing um surprisingly i have plenty of energy so that's good i mean not a lot i do get tired but i can you know i don't know i think maybe i thought i'd be a bit more lethargic than i am um i can go out and about and meet friends and go shopping and what have you and i feel fine so yeah i think other than that i mean my recovery is going really well i'm having a bit of problems healing my incisions um I, where my drain site was they didn't stitch that close the other incisions have stitches where my drain was, the drain tube, they just pulled the tube out and put steri strips over it. And I've only just taken the bandage off it today. Um, or well, sorry, last night, first day with it off. And it's been two weeks and I really feel like you shouldn't have to cover it for two weeks. Um, but it's like it, it wasn't healing at the surface level. I could tell it was healed a little deeper or healing, like closed, but it wasn't closed on the surface level. And I was worried it would get infected if I left it open. So. It has kind of knitted over now, but it, it doesn't look pretty. Uh, not that I'm bothered, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm accepting that my body is not gonna look pretty when I've lost this weight, so. Speaking of my body looking pretty, um, really random for this to be happening now of all times, but I think I'm going out on a date this week um, or like early next week, um, which is, I don't know. I'm, I, I really don't wanna say too much because you never know who will be watching, but. I got asked out and I'm gonna go, I guess. Um, and it just, I don't know, it's a, it's a really weird time in my life and um, we're gonna go out for a meal and I can't really eat anything. That's a lot, but I told him because it came up in conversation that I was off work for sick leave because I'd had surgery and he asked me directly what kind of surgery I had. And so I just told him, because I mean, as I've talked about before, I'm trying to be very open about my weight loss surgery journey. I hate the word journey. Why isn't there process? experience I mean whatever anyway so I told him and I think it's fine he has inquired a couple of times since how I'm going and whatever um, but yeah I don't know feels weird feels kind of crazy but anyway it's just there's a lot happening I guess um, the other thing is that I really haven't been studying um, this week I am now recovered to the point where I think I could be studying because I really have no pain so as I sit here I'm like a zero out of ten pain I haven't taken Panadol in days um, I feel fine, but I, you know, I just get these muscle spasms, but that's it. I mean, it's, you know, it's no big deal. Um, but I just can't find the motivation to study. 
Um, I feel like it's just always like other stuff that I just procrastinate with and you, you know this is the perfect opportunity for me to be studying. Sorry I'm always I'm so burpy these days. It's, it's really real. Bypass patients. Wow. I mean probably sleeve too. Do you sleeve as burp so much? I burp a lot. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of wasting my time away, I guess. I'm really relaxed. I'm getting a lot of sleep. Um, I'm doing a bit of housework. It's all good, but I just... Now is a golden opportunity for me to get ahead with my, like, study at work. So, yeah, that... Hopefully I come back from my three-week update and I have been studying like a queen and it's great and I feel so prepared to go back to work and what have you. So, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I should go to the library. Maybe I should take some stuff to the library because then I could study there and be like in the study zone, you know? So yeah, I can't go back to work yet for another like almost two weeks because um, I have to be able to lift 20 kilos for my medical and I'm not really like, I don't know when he's going to clear me for that. But I think after my appointment on the 14th, I think he'll clear me for the medical. So yeah. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, I don't really know what else to say. I think what I will do is film a what I ate in puree phase video like I did for the liquids. Um, hopefully I won't put that up a day before my weekly update, but like we'll see. Procrastination is very real. Um, but yeah, I think I'll film that for you. And also, I guess it's interesting, I think, for me to be able to look back and see how far I've come with, you know, my like stomach volume and whatever and how many calories I'm eating and blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, I think I'll film that and I'll put that up. Um, and yeah, like, I, I don't know, I haven't really got much else to say. Everything's great. Um, almost reaching protein goals, not quite. Almost reaching hydration goals, not quite. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, you know, there's, there's room to move, there's room to work on it. So um, yeah, I think, I think it's all good. I certainly haven't had a shred of regret. So anyone out there who's contemplating this, take it from someone who's only two weeks out, isn't even eating anything more than like baby food. It's, it's really worth doing. Um, it is really worth doing. So actually one more thing, I'm going to insert a picture, um, like a before and after of my face because I have a surgery sister and she, um, she sent me a picture of her face because it was like a really big difference. And I've only lost like 14.3 kilos, I think all up. Um, you know, from, from my pre-op diet and everything, but there is a difference. And I think that's interesting. So I'll put that, um, that picture up for you. Um, and yeah, that's that, I guess. Um, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for tuning back in and I'll speak to you soon in a, what I ate in a day in the puree phase video. So yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.